What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today we are talking about the new update that has just arrived to Red Dead Online. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can find all this information. The first thing that we have is Wild Animal Kills Challenge and this is actually something that I was looking very much forward to from like the beginning of Red Dead Online to the beginning of Red Dead Redemption 2. I really wanted to go and do hunting and I think that's what tears Red Dead Redemption away from GTA because GTA you cannot do this hunting and hunting is something that I love that is why I do money methods and all that other stuff this is something that I'm definitely going to be going into wild animal kill challenge and if you do not know what that is you pretty much just go as a group of people it's an event you get invited to it as an event there's other players involved and all you have to do is go and hunt the animal you get one point for small animals you get two points for medium sized animals and you get three points for large animals as well as there will also be predators like wolves cougars and bears that will emerge and take them down for bonus points this is actually something that i'm very much looking forward to so i'll definitely be going in that leave that in the comments down below of whether or not you have played any of these new game modes any of these new events and tell me what you think about them next thing to talk about is the new game mode that's been added to red dead and this one is called head for the hills now i've done a video of this already so i'll leave a link in the description down below those for you to go and see that me I'm not a massive fan of it the basic premise of this game mode is that there is two teams one defense one attack the attacking team has to go and attack the defense and then go and get to the safe house whereas the defending team has to go and defend the safe house and stop the attackers from actually going to the safe house pretty basic to understand and I spoke quite a bit about this I'm not a massive fan of of this game mode I do not like it whatsoever and from what I've seen from other youtubers doing videos on this already it has not gone down well I'm interested in what happens in the next 24 hours with this game modes whether or not people enjoy it and it just so happens to be that the youtubers that are playing it it's just not a game mode that is good for them so I'm hoping that maybe this can be just me being completely wrong I said in the video that I did earlier not to even try it it's up to you whether or not you try it I I was just saying do not try it because I feel like it's a waste of time it's not entertaining it doesn't give good XP and it doesn't give good money so at that point the two factors of playing a game mode of getting entertainment and getting in-game currency it just fails on both of those so at that point is there any point I don't know leave it in the comments down below as always the next thing though is something that I didn't think would happen but I am definitely gonna go for it with a land of opportunity missions there is actually bonuses this week so I'm gonna read this from the page earn bonus cash and gold in certain missions from a land of opportunities this week new players will earn a bonus Red Dead Online $50 for completing the first mission honor among horse thieves earn a bonus Red Dead Online $75 for completing kill them each and every one and a bonus 10 gold bars for completing destroyed by grief now i'm hoping that this is actually open to everyone because that would definitely be something that i'll be interested in you can get a lot of 125 dollars 125 dollars and 10 gold bars for playing two missions yes i am fully down with that but it does say new players this week new players so i don't know whether or not this is going to be open to everyone or whether or not it's just those that haven't played the missions as of yet another incentive to go and play through these missions we have a new care package in red dead online all you have to do to go and collect this is go over to the post office and you should be able to go and collect all of these items as long as you haven't already got these items and you have a full satchel of these items so you should be able to go and collect all of these what you're seeing on screen right now from the post office there is also new clothing arrivals as always every week we are getting new clothing for myself i am on that money grind right now so i do not want to waste any money any gold going to get new clothing for my character i want to get as much money as i can getting ready for those future updates of red dead online but some of these clothing i've actually had a look at already some of them I kind of like I do kind of like these so uh, maybe go and check them out whether or not you guys like them or whether or not you guys want to go and spend your money going to get some of these new items so that is all the new stuff added to Red Dead Online for this week but we are also getting some other stuff which is outside the game of Red Dead Online in fact I take that back because there is a two-step verification bonus in Red Dead right now so if you have two-step verification on which hopefully you do because it firstly protects your account 
and also you get rewards like this in Red Dead Online and also GTA Online. For this week, Red Dead Redemption players will get a raccoon hat, which you are now seeing on your screen. So that's people that have already got their two-step verification up. But if you go and sign up for two-step verification, you will get future awards like what we're getting right now. And also you'll receive 10 gold bars for Red Dead Online and also $500,000 for GTA Online. So those 10 gold bars, I'm only speaking for Red Dead Online, is definitely worth it. I managed to go and sign up for my two-step verification way back. I tweeted it out. I put it on YouTube. I kept on just kept on talking about it constantly in videos, trying to get as many of you guys to do the two-step verification so you can get rewards like this. It did say when I first signed up that there will be future rewards. Now, this is the first lot of rewards. If you don't count the fact that I got 10 gold bars way back then and also money on GTA, but the raccoon hat is the first reward and I can guarantee you that we will be getting a lot more in the future. It'll only be cosmetics, but it's definitely something you might as well pick up for that exclusivity. So definitely go and do that two-step verification. The final thing to talk about is that there will be Red Dead Online streams, not by me, but by the community. Red Dead Online community live stream this Friday, May 31st, 5 p.m. Eastern time. This is something that I will definitely be tuning into and I hope you guys will be tuning in as well. I really hope that we can get some more information or maybe some hints about future updates but realistically they're just going to be going around in different showdown modes free throw missions posse versus challenges and poker that's what it says on here but you can go and find the live stream on their facebook twitch and also youtube i have set notifications for twitch and youtube i will definitely be tuning in on that if you do want to get involved with this live stream they are also putting out a tweet on twitter tomorrow looking for a roundup of a few community friends to posse up with so they're doing PlayStation and Xbox, which is good to see. I might try and get involved in it, but uh, definitely go and check that out. I guarantee you that this will be something that you don't want to miss. And it could be something that, like I said, they might give hints of future updates. But anyway, guys, that is everything to do with this week's update. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.